Saturday of Bookshop Crawl is traditionally the busiest day, um, but this year I wasn't leading a guided group as I was backup in case we needed a backup, which it turned out we didn't. So thanks to all our amazing volunteers for the job that they did this year. Um, so instead of that, I went over to Pitt's Hanger Books with my children, which is in um, Ealing in West London. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely bookshop. I highly recommend visiting if you get a chance. They've got a gorgeous children's section and their rest of their fiction and non-fiction is beautifully curated. I bought a couple of things. And they were also part of the Bookshop Explorer Challenge we ran this year. So I got a free book. <laughs> um, so I got Drive Your Plough Over the Bones of the Dead as my freebie, which is very exciting because I really want to read that. Adding that to my shelf. And then I also bought the library book um, by Susan Orlean, which is about the um, Los Angeles Public Library fire and what libraries mean to society and how important they are. So I'm excited about reading that. Um, I've heard really good things. And I also bought myself um, Times Convert by Deborah Harkness, which is uh, part of the Old Souls trilogy, which started with Discovery of Witches, which I really enjoyed. So I'm looking forward to reading that. I might need to reread the original three books um, first. So we'll see how long it takes me to get to that. But yes, exciting. My kids also bought some books there, um, but I'll let them do their own video <laughs> and tell you about what they got. Um, then in the afternoon we headed over to the House of Illustration, which was a lovely little gallery um, with some exhibitions about different illustrators. There's a Quentin Blake exhibition there. Um, we went with a little group and um, a friend from book the bookshop crawl, Hannah, brought me this, um, American Marriage, which I've been excited to read. Um, so that was nice. That was a nice little perk um, that I got. And then after that we headed down to Word on the Water because my kids are obsessed with the bookshop on a boat with the dog. Um, <laughs> And my youngest was very runny, so he ran in and out and I looked at books and I picked up uh, Wild Signs and Star Paths, which is all about like navigating the world through nature and things we used to know that we don't know anymore and it looks really interesting. And then in their second hand section I picked up This Song Will Save Your Life, which I've been looking at and picking up and putting down for a couple of years now, so I'm excited to finally have that. And then also, as a free perk for bookshop crawlers, they were giving out copies of Edward Lear's Nonsense, the little black uh, penguin classic books. So that was quite exciting. And they had a lovely gentleman dressed up reciting Edward Lear to people, which was very, um, very much fun. So we enjoyed that a lot. And that was the end of our Saturday. We then went home with the kids. Um, Reese had a very different Saturday from us, which I'm sure he'll tell you about. Um. Uh, Saturday. I left the boys behind uh, and then uh, went off and I did my first guided group. We went to Portobello Market, one of my favourite parts of London. Uh, Portobello Market got so many beautiful stalls on Saturdays. Food is amazing. If you're walking through the market, you cannot help but feel hungry, even if you've just eaten. Um, and we went to Lutyens and Rubenstein. I think that's how you say it. So apologies to the shop if I'm saying that incorrectly, but they are a lovely bookshop they have lots of unique additions in there actually when you go in there they have, often have uh, some uh, beautiful bindings beautiful uh, editions of books that you can pick up um, along with a wonderful collection of children's books so if uh, children's books are your things then uh, there's a great selection from them then we went to the famous Notting Hill bookshop um, famous because it's in the movie um, and that one I think everybody liked, but it was very touristy. Uh, there were a lot of people around, obviously, as you can imagine, lots of people standing outside it, taking photographs, lots of tourists. Made it a bit awkward inside because it's really busy. But I know from prior experience, if you don't go on a Saturday, it tends to be a lot quieter. So if you do go to uh, um, uh, to the uh, um, Notting Hill Bookshop, it's well worth visiting. It's a really good selection, but do, if you can, not go on a Saturday, go on a different day. It tends to be a bit quieter. Um, opposite there, we went into Books for Cooks. That is one of my favourite bookshops in London. Recipe books. That is all it is. Just a whole load of recipe books in one room. And it's delightful. They also produce their own books. That's, I picked up one of their recipe books. Uh, this is books seven, eight and nine. Uh, loads of recipes um, from all different chefs. Sorry, I'm holding it upside down. Uh, look, there's the front of the shop. That is beautiful. Um, and uh, some amazing recipes that I'm really looking forward to read, reading up on and uh, hopefully making. Um, I'll let you know how it goes. I might even do a video, we'll see. Um, so that was Books for Cooks. We then followed that by going into the Oxfam Bookshop, another Oxfam Bookshop uh, on the list. Um, this one, nice space, really good selection, well worth visiting. 
and then went down the road to the comic book exchange which uh, weren't taking part this year but uh, we went in it anyway because it's a lovely space and good selection of books and comics and graphic novels so if that's the sort of uh, thing that you like well worth visiting uh, that was the end of the Portobello market route and then I thought I've got a bit of time I don't have my children I'm going to do another bit of a recon for a future year so we went I went on my own to Chiswick um, somebody had already told me that the bookshops in Chiswick are well worth visiting plus there's a couple of others that aren't on the crawl so I thought I'd do a bit of recon have a look see what they're like maybe hopefully we can do a crawl there in a future year um, first one I went into was the Oxfam bookshop where I picked up a really good value copy of Chris Riddell's Goth Girl for all my children. Um, they love these books and if you've got children uh, between sort of five and ten I would definitely recommend getting them some beautiful illustrations, beautiful book, lovely words, lovely re really well written, quite fun for adults as well because there's obviously um, there's some uh, references in there that you uh, that children sort of skips over their heads but uh, when you're reading it you're thinking ah i know what chris is talking about um that's a really good one i was really pleased to pick one up one pound fifty bargain so that was that was my bargain then we went i went sorry into bookcase bookcase have been really supportive for us on twitter this year and i'm so pleased they agreed to join the bookshop crawl this year so thank you bookcase um hopefully if this chiswick route comes off we will bring a tour to you next year um and bookcase you have an amazing selection of books all at ridiculously good prices i bought three books from you um and they were my gym teacher is an alien overlord another one for my children um that one was uh something that uh they've already got one of the other editions that uh david solomon's has written so i thought i'd get them the next one in the installments um, I picked up then a book called uh, Lizzie and the Look Good Luck Girl, um, another children's young adult book. Um, it's another one that I just thought, do you know what, I'm going to really enjoy reading it myself uh, in the same vein of the uh, Explorer that I previously uh, uh, reviewed on YouTube. Um, and I thought, well, perhaps I can then read this, do another review about it. Really beautiful binding, beautiful copy, and uh, it just looks like quite a good read, really. Um, then probably my favourite book from Bookcase, and I'm so pleased they had a copy, and it was really good value. I think it was only three pound fifty, which for a hardback children's book is amazing. I bought Bark to the Rescue. Now I am a uh, um, a music graduate. I study music at university. I've got a master's degree, and this made me chuckle so much uh, because it's just really funny. It's just. Uh, a story about how Goldberg, as in Goldberg Variations, um, how he uh, uh, how he struggled and then got Bark to write some music, and uh, then he didn't struggle anymore, and all was well. Um, and I read that to the children; they were so so enamoured by it. They loved it. They wanted to listen to Goldberg Variations, which you know anything that encourages children to listen to classical music really high on my list. So I'm really pleased about that. And I'm going to read it to them again quite a few times, I think, and possibly listen to the music at the same time. So anybody who's a classical music fan, definitely recommend getting it for your children. Very, very good edition. That was followed by visiting Foster Books. Apologies, I keep looking down. I've got a big list of all the bookshops that I went to. Uh, that is because I've totted it up. I went to 25 bookshops. Whew, 25 bookshops in three days. I think that's quite... Uh, that's the most I've ever done in the three days. I know some people have done more. I know some people did quite a few in one day, which I've just been amazed by. Um, but 25 for me, that was plenty. Uh, if not, probably one or two too many, if I'm honest. But there we go. Uh, so after going into Bookcase, I went into Foster Books, Antiquarian Bookshop in uh, Chiswick. And do you know what? That was beautiful as well really nice place to go lots of really good uh, folio editions and some really really good uh, children's selections and they were all really uh, beautifully kept and not bad prices either so there's some really good things in there if you're into antiquarian books and then I jumped on the bus and I went down the road to the edge of Hammersmith where Amnesty 
books is that's the second branch so we went to one on friday in kentish town and i went on my own to hammersmith branch again really lovely bookshop good value good selection and i picked up almost my favorite find of the of the weekend the poo cookbook now this is both for my children i'm also kidding myself because it's actually more for me um i've got very good memories of winnie the pooh from when i was a kid um and uh i've already this morning so that is uh monday morning after bookshop crawl my son and i this morning at seven o'clock made one of the recipes for breakfast so i've already used this um and i've got a feeling i'm going to use it quite a few more times um, I just like the way that it's got illustrations in there. It's got, and then it's got little extracts from the different books. And then the link to the extract is a recipe underneath. Uh, there's going to be some great things in there that I'm going to enjoy cooking and doing. So that was my favourite find, I think. Uh, oh, all oh, bark to the rescue. Don't know. One or the other. I think both of them were really high up on there. Uh, that was Saturday. I think Saturday was enough, really. That was a lot of bookshops for me. A lot of travelling, a lot of walking. I think I did about six and a half mile walking so for me that's quite a lot really considering my day job is sat at a desk uh, six and a half miles walking is quite a lot for me but hey it's all worth it because London Bookshop Crawl wouldn't be what it is without all of you guys getting up and walking the streets of London traveling around going to the bookshops we've been so pleased with the uptake this year um, to fill you in over a thousand people downloaded the, uh, uh, the, the the info off of our website um, I think it's edging towards 1,600 people did so and you know what that's incredible when we consider that five years ago it started off with a single tweet and that single tweet encouraged 30 people to meet up in London and five years down the line we're talking about over a thousand I mean wow amazing and Becca and I cannot uh, cannot could never imagine sorry 